channel. If you're new, please hit that subscription box. If you're not, thank you for being part of me, Familia. So this is going to be something new. This is going to be a video of my summertime, my everyday summertime routine, because we are approaching summertime. So this is my everyday go look for the summer because I do have oily skin sometimes oily combination in the winter or sometimes dry but during the summer it is like oily oily combination so i just wanted to you know venture out start new ventures and show you guys my everyday summertime routine so if you would like to see that continue to keep on watching look like a doink so don't go in on me too hard who chihuahua is this y'all is a chihuahua he's so cute but who dog is this for real Every time I get ready to video, something happens. There's a chihuahua in my door. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm not going to go play with that dog. I don't, I don't know who dog that is. So, I know I look a little doinky, and that's all right. But I'm going to quickly show y'all. I'm going to hopefully hope that it's quick. Show y'all my everyday summer routine, uh, face routine, and, well, my everyday summer look. And I just thought I'd share that with y'all. I'm not no makeup guru or nothing of that nature, but I'm just going to show y'all what I like doing because I love makeup too and that's just me so I'm gonna show y'all a lot of inexpensive products that I use because I use expensive and inexpensive so what I'm going to do my eyebrows are already done that's the reason why I'm looking a little mm -mm, okay a little slow but next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow look and then I'm gonna do my foundation and we're gonna go from there so the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is Impressed You and it's a, a beauty glaze that I got from Hip Dot. What it is is like a, uh, what is it? A dupe from the Jaclyn Hills palette and I think this is so cool because I got this with another one for like $27 and you can't beat that so and Jaclyn Hills palette is like $30 but this is a good dupe from Hip Dot or Hush.com so yeah I'll leave the links of those in uh, the description below so I'm gonna go in with this like the little cheap like little brushes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, light brown because this is the one I use almost every day for my my eye look and I'm going to swipe that all over my lid and up in my crease and where my uh, and where my, my eyebrow is a little bit up on my eyebrow now I'm not gonna pack this on this is gonna be like a little base a little base for the rest of them now I did already um, conceal my eyebrows I mean not my eyebrows my eyelid with uh, some concealer that's the reason why my eye was looking a little ratchet but yeah so if I'm looking down it's because my mirror is down here so next I'm gonna go in with um, this shade here, this is like the tan to the tan. This is like beige and this is like tan. So I'm going to go, I'm showing you my everyday summer makeup look. This is my go-to. I have many more, but this is like my ultimate go-to. So what I'm doing is I'm just packing it in my crease. I do do the build-up effect. It's like sun-kissed. That's what it's like. It's like sun-kissed. Is what I want to give. But y'all like, why you hacking it all? And beauty gurus do it this way. No, this is my way. I don't go according to beauty gurus. I go according to what I like and what it looks like. That's just me. Then I'm going to go next to that color. And I'm going to switch out brushes. And I'm going to use this round little brush. And I'm going to go to this color. And this color, I am literally going to pack in my crease. I'm going to pack that, pack that, pack that. This is my go-to look, y'all. Okay, so next, I'm going to go into the color over it. Oh, you know what? No, that's not what I do. I go to the color above it, this color. And what I do is I put that right here I bring it up and I like to put that here okay. 
Okay, so the next color I like to use, I like to use like a darker color. So I'm gonna go in with this dark brown. This is like medium, and then it's like the darkest, darkest, and then I'm going to like, you know, the light, the medium brown. And I'm gonna put that here. And I'm just putting that the outside corner see now sometimes when it doesn't give the effect that I really want I go in with the darker brown like where you can see see it works it's giving me the effect that I want okay like the swish 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 now bring that up okay so I like to go over with the LA girls over my top of my lid like this. All right. And I go in with my, I thought I had it up here. It may look like I might have to go in with my hand. Oh, no. And I go in with this little flat brush and I just blend that out on top right here. Just do what I feel like doing. And this is what I feel like doing. You know? I don't like conforming to other what other folks go by and all this other stuff. Makeup is about expressing yourself, whether you know how to do it, you know, and or no, not do it. Makeup is not about, uh, it's not about perfection. It's about just perfecting what suits you, but it's not about perfection. Makeup is about, you know, expression. And that's why I love makeup. That's why I love it. I love it, love it, love it. My husband will tell you this. I can't go nowhere without picking up something concerning makeup. Something. It's always me. Okay. Mine is not gonna be perfect, not like gurus or nothing like that. I'm doing what I jam with, what I rock with always. Okay, so. My go-to colors are between these three here, one, two, three. And sometimes I really love going with this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this brush because I really want it to pick up the product. So I'm gonna go in with this color on my lid. And you guys, you guys hopefully are gonna see the effect that it gives that I love so much. Boom. This is why I love it so much. Gold and rose gold are my favorite colors. I can wear them all the time and get away with so many outfits. But yeah, makeup is about freedom of expression. So express yourselves, lady. ladies. And gentlemen that's the end of that now I'm not gonna put on my mascara yet because I noticed that when I do that my makeup um, my foundation and stuff started acting a little funny so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and I'm priming my face with the elf poreless face primer cheap like I said does wonders because my pores are huge they are huge so I'm gonna prime my entire face and little goes a long way with this um, this e.l.f. primer, a little does go a long way. Next, I'm gonna go in with my um, Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage, uh, Coverance Complete, 24, up to 24 hours. And I got it in 355 Cocoa Coconut. So I'm gonna do probably three pumps of this and I'm gonna use my Real Tex Techniques uh, brush. So three pumps of this. And I'm going to spray, spray, spray because I like for my brushes to be somewhat wet. So I'm going to go in and use this. Now, this is the foundation I spoke with y'all in my moving video uh, that I love so much. Y'all, the coverage is banging. The, uh, the way it lasts is amazing. It's amazing. If you ever had to choose an inexpensive uh, foundation, this is it. 
one that you will love. This is it. Okay, um, I know y'all probably wondering why don't I go above my eye with the um, the concealer. I never do that. I don't like the way that looks, so I never do that. I'm going to use my Maybelline concealer to highlight, and the concealers I'm going to be using from Maybelline, I think I lost one. I think I did. I probably did. So... Here. I don't like to go extreme. I normally would go extreme, but I'm not going to go extreme. All right, and I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender, my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I love this thing. Yes, I know my everyday makeup routine, uh, summer makeup routine is a little bit extra, but I'm an extra person, so. They fight about everything. <laughs> I know y'all hear my children. I tell y'all one thing this is not going to be, is this is not going to be like the perfect videos. Next, with my powder, my CoverGirl powder, to set this uh, highlight. I don't go with anything lighter. I just go with something that's close to the same as my highlight. I'm not baking because I'm not going out on a date. So I'm not baking. I know I would bake if it was for like a special occasion, but I'm not baking. So, because it's not a special occasion. You drop a little bit, it's okay. make sure I get it's time to contour and with my contour I would normally use a powder I would normally use a liquid then a powder but right now I'm just gonna use a powder and it's my covergirl Queens um, bronzer in Q120 I think they discontinued this so I've been savoring the little bit I do have left I'm so upset I hope they haven't so hopefully I try to find it as soon as possible because I'm running out and I'm just going to contour my face okay all right on my forehead this little small brush to contour. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with um, my L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder and I'm gonna press my entire face to kind of set it with the this powder. Next, I'm going to set my face. So, this is me. All right. And the reason why I set my face before anything else is because I want my highlighter to stick. So, I'm going to go in with my highlighter and then end out with my mascara and move on to my lips. So, I'm using my Hard Candy uh, highlighter. See, I love the way it sticks while I spray my face to be set. My favorite part to highlight because it pops in all of my pictures. Next, I'm gonna go in with my hands to give it that look. 
to really set it off. And the long part, and I'm gonna go right here with my highlight. Like I said, there's no rules. Cupid's bow. Nothing like a little Cupid's bow highlight. Next on the list is I'm going to use some uh, mascara on my eyelashes because I don't like using fake uh, eyelashes even though I have a lot in here. I'm going to use my Maybelline uh, mascara. It is the Maybelline Great Lash. I think it's the oldest one that was on the shelf or is it the new one? I don't know. And there's a lot you can get away even while just using mascara or you can use falsies. Falsies are really cute too but I have not grasped how to do falsies. I did falsies one time and that was like five years ago. I mean, if you're looking for that very dramatic, just uh, that very dramatic volume look, keep adding volume. So that's that. That's my eyes. Now for my lips, all I do, I'm gonna show y'all. I wipe off this excess here. All right. And I go in with my Carmex when I'm not trying to be extra. Or normally I would go in with a matte lipstick, but not today. Or sometimes you can keep the foundation on and go over it with the Carmex. It gives off like a nude brown lipstick look, but one thing you need to know, it's gonna be very transparent. It's going to, um, it's going to wear off. Or if you went to kiss somebody, it's going to come off. So I wouldn't use it at your own discretion. Use that idea. All right, so this is it. This is the look, y'all. This is it. This is my everyday summertime look. I went and did this idea because, like I said, I want to incorporate more makeup on my channel. And I just felt restricted to do it because of judgment. But I'm here to say this. YouTube shouldn't be about judgment whether you know how to do makeup or not, whether you do it a certain way or not. Because I always worried about the lighting in my house. I have lighting boxes and everything. But I chose not to put that up. So my thing is this, is you don't have to have all this fancy stuff going on to do what you love and what you like doing. So I just decided to wing it, you know, and I have a lot of insecurity issues too, but about my acne and presenting that to the world. But then I just think about it, that's me rejecting myself of happiness and sharing that with you. So I'm just saying today, if you got the encouragement and power to do this, do it. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let no rinky dink light stop you. Don't let no little bit of acne, whether it's a lot, stop you don't let nothing stop you from expressing yourself here on YouTube or just expressing yourself in general makeup should not be limited and nor should you know the expression of it so I just want to come to you guys on my channel and show you my everyday summer look and I really hope you guys like it because I love it and if you hear little kids in the background that's my life I can't I can't shelter that out I can't you know exit that out but I enjoy that you guys come to my channel and you, you know, express your love with me. So I'll see you in my next video, y'all. It's been fun. It's been real. Please subscribe and I'll see you again. Bye.